Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, just wanted to do a quick video on the Adam RC Dolphin. We crashed and destroyed Delta Bravo, the white dolphin. And I want to give an, uh, kind of an explanation as to why it happened so nobody else has to go through this. Um, normally, when I run a high speed setup or something that I'm trying to get, you know, 120, 130, 140 miles per hour, normally I run an ESC that doesn't have a BEC in it. I'll run an external BEC to power the servos and everything. And then the ESC will only control the motor. That way, if you spike and um, exceed the ESC, it will cut the motor, but you'll still have servo control. I didn't do that on the White Dolphin. I kind of slapped it together fast and I used a regular 40 amp ESC and I just did um, some testing on that motor and prop and it was spiking to about 46, 47 amps. So we went seven amps over the ESC. We ended up 100, 110 miles per hour and the ESC cut out and it just nose dived into the ground and the nose is like in 20 different pieces. The back half of the dolphin is still <laughs> in pretty decent shape but the nose is is gone so if you're going to run a high speed setup i would highly recommend running no no less than a 60 amp esc or i would run whatever esc you're going to run but have an external 5 volt bec in there that will power your servos separately that way if you lose throttle um, you can glide it, drop your throttle to zero, you'll still have servo control. Throttle down, let the ESC cool off, it will re-engage and you'll be able to have throttle back. So you're not going to really be stuck. You just have to go zero throttle for a few seconds so that ESC can reset. Um, but yeah, if you are running just a regular ESC that has a BEC and you overpower it, uh, you will destroy your aircraft like I did. I'm a little sad that I just got the, the white dolphin. I literally haven't had it for two weeks. Uh, my other dolphin I've had for over a year, the twin Bay Raptor dolphin, I've had that for over a year. So it's um, it's easy to overlook, you know, when you have so many planes and you, you get more experience. Um, I will say you will make rookie mistakes like not using an external BEC on a high amp um, setup. Uh, anytime you're running 2200 kV with a six inch prop, um, you're gonna be pulling 40 amps or around 40 amps easily on 4S. So on 3S, you can get away with running that setup uh, without going over the 40, but if you're running 4S, it's gonna spike to, you know, I would rather cook the motor than to overload the ESC, if you see what I'm saying. So if you are going to run that, run a 60 amp ESC, and if it cooks the motor, then it cooks the motor. You know what I'm saying? At least you'll still have your plane and be able to fly. You just take that motor off and put a new motor on and you're back in the air. Um, but yeah, the motor actually won this battle and it overpowered the ESC and we destroyed the plane. So just wanted to kind of give an update uh, to the white dolphin.